Am I collecting anything from you? If you do anything for me out of love, I believe you are a child of God. There's a million things God has done for me more than that. And then if I respect you, that because you said you are my pastor, you do this thing for me, I collected it. That one does not mean you are bound me. I don't want to be saying a lot of things on the pulpit again. But it's only difficult. Many people are crying. And then I just let it go. And then when you come to say the fact, I only like to say the fact. Was it not recently? Right, let me say this one to let you know, Brother Stephen. Was it not recently I was telling you about a month ago or two months ago that there was some cloth and finding it difficult to put on? Just because this is the source. No, I told you in secret. That I find them, I find it difficult to put it on just because this is the source. But if I, you know, if, you, if anybody does anybody for us in this. That does not mean it's a source for threatening. If I give you an handkerchief and you turn that handkerchief to gold, not because I give you that handkerchief, but because you follow Jesus Christ in me. That's just it. Not that you cannot buy that handkerchief. If I sit there with Sister Priscilla, take my car, take it home. When you are in the world, when we are in the world, there are many people that want to give us car in order to compromise. So if someone uses that car, it's not because I'm able to give it, it's because of Jesus Christ in me. So if you see anybody that said, hey, I'm not coming to the church, they are already compromising before then. And I'm telling you, go and look at their life. So what can we do? I think that's the major question. We pray for them. We keep praying for them. And I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, they will realize. And God will bring them back in Jesus' name. But let us learn from all those things we have said. There was a time Jesus Christ was preaching, and then he preached. He said, This is a hard saying. Everybody left. The matter is, Are you going to live too? Then Peter, the same Peter said, Where are we going to go to? We know that you are the war of life. Call upon the name of the Lord. And no matter what the situation may be, we will say to the truth. Your life will become a testimony for Almighty God. Call upon Him. Call upon Him. Call upon Him. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, little, little thing that destroyed the, the fire will not destroy your life. It will not be a caterpillar to your leader, but you will be without of the world. Call upon the name of the Lord, that God will help you. The grace of the Lord will help you. If somebody send a question to me, thank God, and I know God will still revive us. In all area of our program, this morning I can show you to us. Somebody said, I just want you to know for how God respects us, I mean, how people respect us, just because we are in Christ. In one of our, go and look at what our, at our, at our, at our, at our, at our Facebook. Somebody showed something, and then he, he, he said, he, 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 he referred to me. He said, That's our father. I've never met him in my life. Uh, my tears come out of my eyes. 
I, I've never met that. I don't know him. I don't know where he is. But in, 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 our, in our Facebook, he said, he referred to me. That's our father. I, somebody this morning around 4 o'clock, he was throwing question to me. He said, Pastor, I've gone to pray the word. If you can see me crying, that's the reason. He sent a message. He said, Pastor, I want to preach. But they were referring to other people who are Christian, but they are pro compromising. I told him, tell them. They don't look at human beings. When you are preaching to them, they, look, they don't, don't even look at you. They look at Jesus Christ, who is the finisher of our faith. He said, thank you. I'm telling you all this thing to let you know. You may be thinking, little, little thing we are contributing, it doesn't matter. You may see us crying sometimes. But the grace of the Lord will be sufficient. Call upon the name of the Lord. You will build on that rock, on that stone. And the grace of the Lord will be sufficient for you. My dear brother, my dear sister, if not because of some time, flesh, I don't care. If it's three of us, if it's two of us, if it's five of us, as far as we can make it to the kingdom of God, I'm okay. What's the purpose of me in a church? Whereby 15 are in the church, but two make it to the church. But whereby we have five, and the all five make it to the church. Which one is better? Call upon the name of the Lord. The Almighty God will let you remain faithful. Do not worry yourself about those people who are threatening. I know they may say they may not come to the door, you may be begging them. Call upon the name of the Lord that God will continue to uphold you. They have been compromising from the board. Not that day they started compromising. Call upon the name of the Lord, you will remain steadfast. And the joy of the Lord will be your strength. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Everyone has time to offer him. In Jesus' name. Our mighty Father, we glorify your name. We thank you, Lord, because of today. We thank you, Lord, because of how you have spoken to us on the side of the scripture. We praise your name because of what your name and what you will still continue to do. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Here we are. I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, your grace will continue to be sufficient for us in Jesus' name. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you will take us to the end in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because you are the Lord and answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. As we are putting our time to our offering into the back, so we are putting our time to offering into the back, continue to call upon the name of the Lord, that God speak to my heart. Interpret your word into my heart, O Lord. Let your grace be sufficient for me. Call upon him, hold me to the end. Hold me to the end. Hold me to the end. Let Almighty God speak to you and no one be. Only look at Jesus Christ as a finisher of our faith. Call upon you. Call upon you. He will speak to you. He will speak to me. In Jesus' name we pray. I have a very short time before us. We, we just tell us about, especially the Easter retreat. That every one of us that we can make it, we should be planning. And God is going to help us in Jesus' name. 
uh, is very, very essential. And do not forget the house fellowship today. I'm rushing because of our time of first spend. But I don't care because of what we... It's just like a workers' meeting. And I pray that Almighty God will continue to speak to our hearts in Jesus' name. Bible study tomorrow, please do not forget. And then uh, let us use all the means we have. I mean, telling all of us we are on the, what is the name? Uh, uh, what's up? We are on the emo, we are on this thing. Use them to send messages to people. By this way, you are touching a lot of people. I, I wish you'd see what I'm saying. I wish you see what I'm saying. You know, we have a lot of pastors in Nigeria. We have a lot of them anywhere. And then somebody just, that's why I've been looking for a way to speak to you. This is what I experienced. This is what I, and then we are here. We are no more than this. That's, that's how God has been blessing our work. But unfortunately, many of us, we are not saying it in that way. I pray that God will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. So let you, whatever you have, the Facebook, the WhatsApp, the emo, use everything. You say to propagate, uh, to spread the word of the Lord. Uh, thank God for many of us. We are using our picture, show that we are a member of this church. I look at it. Then our, when our letters are going out, show that we are the member of the church. You can't do more than that. They say we are in the modern uh, technology. However, you speak to Nigeria before you go and buy five dollar card. Now you speak to somebody in Nigeria without buying any card. If God is doing all those, why can't we do it with God? In another, I, why can't we do it for God too? And God is going to help everyone of us in Jesus' name. Use all your knowledge, all your experience. So the Easter retreat is AP 13. To sustain. That's next week. Please let us be here. I'm very sure I will attend. Maybe one. Okay, but I will do all what I can do to attend one. Let us continue to pray for all our all area we want to have diversity. And uh, all area like God will perfect every program of us in Jesus' name. But I want you to know that as I told you. Whatever I do, whatever I'm expecting any, anybody to do, is for the glorification of the work of God. And God is going to help us in Jesus' name. If there's any other thing, I will let us know. Because of our time, we just listen to the choir song, and then I shall go, I shall go to the message street.
Father, we thank you, Lord. We glorify your name for great opportunity you give to us once again to come before you, O oh Lord, and to come and learn from you. Father, I pray by the power in the blood of Jesus Christ, as we have been calling you since morning, no one among us will go empty handed in Jesus' name. Lord, you have spoke to us. We thank you, Lord, because of the teacher you have used. We thank you, Lord, because of he has explained the message. To the extent that we're able to get detail of it and be able to ask the question that is bothering us, we thank you, Lord, because of the answer you have given. Lord, we surrender, including the teacher, including those people who listen to it, including to the questionnaire, including to the person that answer. We surrender everything. Lord, we are clear in your hand. We continue to use so mightfully in Jesus' name. Lord, and I thank you, Lord, because of the message that we are coming that is just a little thing we have seen about what you are going to do in our life. Father, we totally surrender everything into your hand. Lord, by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ in the ministry. I'm not talking of just this earthly ministry, the earthly ministry. Father, we will raise our head up in Jesus' name. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, you are the one that brought us together. You have the reason. And you are keeping us. Lord, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we will not go against your will in Jesus' name. 
you have promoted us. You will continue to promote us in Jesus' name. And your name is going to be glorified. We will be a, 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 a signboard to order to come into Jesus in Jesus' name. Thank you, O Lord, because you are the Lord and answer prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. I want to thank everyone of us for coming to, to this service. As I have been saying, we are just, it's like you are in a class, you want to receive a certificate and you are pursuing it. That's what we are doing. We are not coming just for coming sake. We are coming so that we have a goal. A goal, that goal is to enter the kingdom of God. Not only that entering, so that God himself can use all mighty fully. And as we are pursuing that goal, I pray by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, more than what we expected that God should do for us since we are in this ministry. Some people know uh, we, some people know us about this ministry and God has been doing more of it is going to do in Jesus' name. Just a blessing. All, you know, only remember the song, the pastor that visited us to us. There's a much in a little when God is in it. And then I personally have seen the much. And I know the much is going to be continued. Much. I've seen the much and I this part of what testimony I've shared with you this morning. Even if I don't preach today, for only what I did this morning, I just went and then thanking God, God. So that's why there's millions of pastors in Nigeria. Somebody can write me in Nigeria that this is the question I have. Somebody that I've never seen. I'm not bragging. I just want you to see what God is doing. Somebody that I've never seen in my life, and I look at his age, and then instead, that is our Father. Who am I? But it's out of this little, little we are doing, this little, little we are doing, and that's why they are looking at every one of you too. It's just like your eyes will not be closer to the glory of the Lord in your life in Jesus' name. There have been a lot of things people are watching. There have been a lot of people who are looking at the people are looking, if you can use this one like this, why not me? But the other side of it, I pray that Almighty God will let you see it in Jesus' name. As we are know we are listening to national message, which is that to its beauty, grace, and godliness. Beauty, grace, and godliness. Let we we shall read something come to my mind, but I will shave it. So let's look at the book of Ephesians, the book of Ephesians, and I will read from us. If I able to read it, finish it, I will. But if not, I will start wherever God wants me to start. I will read from us from the book of Ephesians, chapter two, book of Ephesians, chapter two, book of Ephesians, chapter two, verse one to ten. And you ask, and you ask a cooking. We were dead in trespass and sin. We are in, in time past. You walk according to the course of this world. You walk according to what, how we were born. Do not forget what the Bible says. Every one of us have sinned. And we are sinned. Even not the great grace of the Lord. And then the Bible was telling us that according to the prince of the power of the when we are talking about the prince of the power of the air, we are talking about Satan. That if Jesus Christ himself declare unto him that I know the war belong unto you. And then this another area you will know that Jesus even I am sure a certain that the world belonged unto Satan. When he was going, and he was bothered about the life of the disciple. He was bothered about these twelve. I've gathered them. I walked with them. 
Lord, I don't want them to go away. But one thing I'm asking God, I want you to do for me. Kill them. Because they are in the world, they are not part of the world. So that all my efforts, all my prayer, all my teaching, all my sitting with them, all my gathering with them will not be in vain. Father, this is what I'm asking for. Keep the disciple from me. So do not be surprised. If you look at the population, you look at a lot of things. In this child in the environment you find yourself. And you see that the attitude of Satan is not the attitude of the, the children of God. This world is not belong to you. You are just borrowing it. But the prayer, my prayer for you is this. You have discovered that you are not a part of this world. You are not, you are not in this world. This world will not take you, away, take you away from the kingdom of God in Jesus' name. There will be a lot of challenges. It is certain. Since I come to your family or you come to my family. There's a lot of things you will see. There's a lot of things that we see. That, that's not the way we do it. You, I mean, you do it in your family. That's not the way I do it in my family. But because you are a visitor, you just need to abide. Abiding does not mean you be the part of it. That's what is happening. You will see them do a lot of things. And it's like, why me? My dear brother, my dear sister, do not, be, do not forget. You are just walking through this market. The market is not for you. And God will take you to the end in Jesus' name. Among whom, also we all had our confession in time past in the loss of our flesh, fulfilling the desire of the flesh and of the mind. Many times, you face a lot of circumstances at home. There's no money. Because there's no money, you and wife, or wife and, or, and husband, are not agreeing together. And then there's another option outside. But you will look at the Bible at that particular period. I will say, I know. Let's say I'm in heaven. This thing wouldn't have happened to me. I wouldn't have lacked money to give to my children. I wouldn't have lacked money to give to my wife. Even there's no marriage there. I wouldn't have lacked money to do anything. I wouldn't have suffered of this kind of food. But because this place is not my own, not everything I want, I can get, I will endure. And that's why many times it, it looks like we lack something it is because we are not where we're supposed to be but we will get there and nothing will stop us in jesus name so but god who is rich in mercy love where he loves us i mean but god who is rich in mercy for his great love where with he loves us even when we were dead in sin but that's what all those challenges. That's what all our past. That's what all our compromise. That's what all what we have done. That does not worthy to call ourselves a child of God. That if we, if we take a sinner, if not a sin in the sin, if we take a sinner and we take ourselves that we are calling born again and they measure the sin, even the sin of that sinner, our own sin is more, it will carry more weight than the weight of that sinner but still, God loves us. And that's what the Bible was saying. If we measure our sin and then we do everything, sometimes we do not deserve it. What we are resuming? 
But because he is so rich, he is mercy, that richness is more than whatever the great, uh, the father of all great, the sin we might have committed. His richness is covered easy. And then when you see anybody that said, no, I've gone so far, and I know that God cannot love me, forget it. All what he needs just to accept Jesus Christ. And God is going to build him out in Jesus' name. And I raise up, us up, up together. I made us sit together in heavenly place in Christ Jesus. We will not leave that place. The grace of the Lord will be sufficient for us. And the smarty hand will be upon us in Jesus' name. The book of Ephesians 1, 19. Book of Ephesians, chapter 1. Ephesians, chapter 1. 19. 19 to 23. And what is the exceeding greatness of his power to us? Us world who believe according to the working of his mighty power, which he wrought in Christ when he raised him from the dead, and set and set him at his own right hand in the heaven places, far above all principality and power and might and dominion, and every name that is named, not only in this world, but also in that which is to come. And has put things under his feet and gave him to the head over all things to the church, which is his body, in fullness of him that fill all in all. And that we are, we are surrendering all the parts, all the past to him by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, he will cover us up in Jesus' name. His umbrella upon us will never be weary in the name of Jesus Christ. I want you to know that when you look at the character of human being, it is powerless. There's nothing sin can do. The Bible lets us know the reward of sin is this. Tell me anybody that glorify himself in sin, I will tell you what will be his end. And that's what Samuel looked at. He said there are some way. There are some road. When you look at them, they look shiny. They are like gold. But the end of it is destruction. And then my dear brother, my dear sister, when you are in that kind of situation, and it seems like all what you are doing to the people of the world, they love it. Be careful. The Bible says, woe unto you if they love you. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, people of the world will not love us, but Jesus Christ will love us in Jesus' name. And we will remain standified. So there's nothing in human being than sin. And then tell me, anybody that says he is morally good, that says, I, I trust myself, I do this, I do this, go and look at that particular person. We will see one thing in his life that destroyed all other ones. That's life of human being. The only person that can, you can call that is good that, and you can copy is Jesus Christ. Don't to follow, don't follow anybody, don't follow me, don't follow anybody, that because they know how to preach, or they know how to speak, or they know how to do one thing or the other. Follow the only person you can follow, and that's what I've been encouraging us, the only person we can do, and that's what every leaders have been encouraging us, the only person you can do is read your Bible. And I told us the last time, the more you are far away from your Bible as a Christian, the more you are far away from your destiny. 
the closer to your Bible, the closer to your destiny. And God is going to help us in, in Jesus' name. This is certainly the character of funny hero, Lucifer, the landlord of this world, who because of his flesh and my desire was rejected from the kingdom of God. What all the attitude of human being from the book of Galatians chapter 5, the book of Galatians chapter 5, the book of Galatians chapter 5, the book of Galatians chapter 5. And this is why we will see the attitude of human being. Galatians chapter 5, 19 to 21. 19. Now work of the flesh are manifest which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, fairness, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envy, murders, drunkenness, revenging, and like. They are not limited. All this character is what they have. And he, 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 I mean, he have it and he, he, the pride. I don't know if you have read anything. Among all things that God hated, hate most is pride. And why? Well, that's why you will see in the book of the Bible that God against the pride. And that's what Lucifer asked, including all this, and he was rejected. In the kingdom of God. But by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, we are not going to be rejected in Jesus' name. Tell me, show me Satan, and I will show you this character. Show me this character, and I will tell you the person is dying, is dining with Satan. But I want you to know. The grace of the Lord is sufficient. It can bail you out. It can bail me out. He has bailed you out. He has bailed me out. And by the power and the blood of Jesus, we are not going to go back. No, go, no turning back. No turning back. No matter what the situation may be, no matter the circumstance, no matter, no matter the trial, the grace of the Lord it continues to be sufficient for every one of us in Jesus' name. In the book of Ephesians, Ephesians, the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, Ephesians, chapter 2, 4 to 6, Ephesians, chapter 2, 4 to 6, but God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, we are with in love us, even when we were dead in sin, as cooking us together with Christ. And has raised us all together and made us sit together in heavenly places. That's what he's done for us. Because of his love, because of his mercy, because of his endurance, that's why we are here. Don't tell me you are here because you love God. You are here because God loves you. Don't tell me you are serving God because God, because God loves you. You are serving God because God loves you. Don't tell me because you are giving all what you have to Almighty God because you love God. You are, you are giving Almighty all what, you, all, 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 all what you have to God because God loves you. There are many people that want, to, that want to give one to the Lord. And they don't even know. And I remember in one, one of the story that somebody was going and then I, I learned that he donated about 10 million, ten million naira to certain church. And I remember when just, he was just going and then he saw he, he saw the church. I said, Oh, let me be a partaker of this blessing. And I know how much he asked to donate 10 million, 10 million. And I look at how he has been looking. God let me able to be useful to you to the extent that I will be able to donate this kind of money. He has been keeping that money for long. Who knows? He has been having that because that thought cannot, I don't think that thought can come in a day. 
It must have been thinking, God, when am I going to be useful to you? Oh, God, I want to be useful to you. Help me. But you, you have a little penny. Anytime you have that little penny, it's inside the open box. Anytime you have that, uh, that five cover, it's inside the opening box. Anytime you have that one, one dollar, it's inside the offering cover. Uh, offering, uh, offering, uh, uh, offering bag. That's how you know that God loves you. Because he taught you how to plant why caterpillar cannot destroy you. And you will reap it. And we are reaping it. And we will appreciate God in Jesus' name. So the God grace is, con- is there. And it will continue to be there for us forever. And if I fall, John, John chapter 4, verse 19. 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 The woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our father worship in this mountain, and you say that in J- and you say that in Jerusalem is the place we are made out to worship. Jesus said unto her, Woman, believe me. Woman, believe me. The hour come when you shall neither in this mountain nor yet at Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship, you know, you worship, you know not what what we know what we worship. For salvation is of the Jew. But what I want to tell you was there is that the woman said unto him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. And you, you have known. You are not perceiving again. Go at the day. That we go to family church, go at the day. That we go to the Jerusalem of the family, go at the day. And what the Bible told us nowadays is this. Those people who know God, they will worship Him in spirit, not until in truth and the spirit, not until they get to a certain place whereby the family member or friend or anywhere, anywhere you go, the spirit of the Lord is with you, and that's why whenever you enter the car, they encourage many of us women. Some, some women say, why should I cover my hair? Why should I do this thing? And the Bible says, when you want to pray, you must cover your hair. You may, be co- you may enter car, the inside the bus now, then, then you don't carry your scarf, you don't carry anything, you, you are not preparing for prayer. Then the time for praying starts. Will you disobey God? God will teach us in Jesus' name. You can see what the reason why when Paul was saying, okay, this, 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 and there was a woman saying, I'm going to be carrying my, my scarf everywhere I go. Everywhere I go. And then you need to cover your hair when you want to pray. But a certain situation comes, you enter the, inside the bus, and the, 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 the doctrine is that, okay, cover your hair, you women, before you pray. But when you are leaving home, there's no, there's no scarf. There's nothing to cover your hair. Go we answer our prayer in Jesus' name. You can see all those reasons why. When they are laying emphasis on something. Because you worship in spirit and in truth. Not only in the church. When you are coming to the church, you need to do all those things. Anywhere you go, the spirit of the Lord is, is following you and you need to prepare. But God has given us the opportunity. We have no that problem. We are not perceiving. And by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, He will continue to lead us, and His grace will continue to be with us in Jesus' name. Romans chapter 5. Romans. The book of Romans chapter 5. The book of Romans chapter 5. Romans 5. I will read for five to eight. And O make not a shame, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts 
by the Holy Spirit which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength in due time, Christ died for the ungodly. He died for you. He died for me. And that is his grace. And that grace will continue to be sufficient for us in Jesus' name. No matter how guilty we are, it's ready to be lost us. I don't know if I've told us this story before. There was a popular thief in Nigeria. And then he was invited to his church to come and share testimony. And then he shared the testimony of when he went to a house to go and steal the money. So that woman used the newborn baby to cover the money. So they are looking for the money, they couldn't find it, but you know, he, 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 she has money. So unfortunately, they just carry the baby and they find the money under where the baby is sleeping. They just carried it, so they rode the baby like this, about eight days, baby, home, boom, to the, the baby. Then, the way you say that, everybody say, yes. Yeah. Mm -mm. Jesus has forgiven me. That's how mighty the grace of the Lord is. You know, eight days, eight, eight day baby. And you just, just roll it. Just, hey. So you are using your baby to cover the money. Boom. Everything to go to two pieces. Everybody, yeah, yeah. No, such Jesus has forgiven me. That's how many of you love money than life. That's what he says. And the same thing with us nowadays. We love our life. We love everything than the call of Jesus Christ. But I want you to know His grace is sufficient. So you're, I don't tell anybody I've seen up to that level. And the man was very, very bold. He said, no, don't cry for me. Jesus has forgiven me. Then if somebody like that can be bold, that Jesus Christ can forgive him, I want you to know, the grace of the Lord is sufficient for you. And he will continue to be with you in Jesus' name. I want to go to the top one. Godliness is most for all his followers. Now that we have seen the sin of human beings, and we have seen that the grace of the Lord is sufficient for human beings. My dear brother, my dear sister, be consistent. Your sanctification must be genuine. That's a part of the prayer Jesus Christ was praying for this life. Sanctify them. See that they can live a holy life. If you have if you are born again and there's no sanctification, my dear brother, my dear sister, it's easier. Let me say easy to go back. Then you'll be falling and rising. You'll be falling and rising. And who knows? Maybe the day you fall, that's the day Jesus Christ is coming. So godliness is a must for every believer. When we are talking about godliness, you are dead to the sin. Say it's no more, more proper to you. Nobody can able to, although people will say, no, but nobody, they say about Jesus Christ, nobody can able to point on to you. That I see you do this, I do this. You have a free conscience before Almighty God and woman being. So in order to make it to the kingdom of God, after God, after we know that we are a sinner and the grace of the Lord has been sufficient for us, we need to have that godliness in our life. And I've seen many people like that. There's nothing you do for them, they will love. There's nothing you can ever do for them. No angry. There's, I've seen them. I've seen them. There's never a single anger in the, uh, Maybe when I'm not there, from my own, my own interaction with them, 
it, you know, if you say, ah, that, and you do this, and you do this, do this and then, you know, it is something you expect to are uh, not in. You will say, the way you will say it, you will see Jesus Christ in him, and you will be surprised. So I want to, I know this person, I couldn't annoy him. It's like, I want to retaliate. He do, he, I mean, he does something for you that you think that he shouldn't do. And you, you want to, you want to, you want to do it back so that he can feel that, oh, what you have done, but it looks like a, 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 like a, you are disrespecting. You will never see that anger in them. So when we are talking about anger, all those other things is still there. The Bible says run away from those things that easily besetting us. Some people is anger. Some people is a word of their mouth. Some people is fornication. They easily fall. Some people fornication may not be their own. Anger may not be be their own. But thief, stealing. Some people it may not be that it may be backbiting. Bas- bas- A lot of things. So the Bible now said, let us run away from all that my very good. No, but no woman can bring me down. No man can bring me down. I can never go to this and, and steal. I cannot do this. Look at your besetting sin that will not let you be holy. And the grace of the Lord will keep us in Jesus' name. The road to the kingdom of God is narrow. If not, I will not tell you. As a result of this, you are going to face trouble. Because the road is not wide. And you cannot take a lot of things you think you want to take a lot. But I want to tell you, be cheerful. Because I will always be there for you. That's the word of Jesus Christ. And he will keep us moving in the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Revelation, chapter 2. Let's start with Philippians 2. Philippians 2. Philippians 2. 12. The book of Philippians. The letter of the Philippians was one of those letters. Uh, Paul wrote to individual. I mean, to general, to general people. To Philippians two chapter twelve. Wherefore, my beloved, as you are always obey, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence. Whether somebody see you, whether nobody see you, whether you are alone. Whether in your room, whether in your corridor, whether you are where nobody see you. Some deliberately you may even go somewhere in order to commit something good or something bad. Know that Almighty Father see you. But it's rather you be holy than being compromised. And I will challenge you with the book of Revelation, chapter 2, 17. Revelation chapter 2, 17. Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2, 17. Revelation chapter 2, 17. That will be my last message to you today. Revelation 2, 17. E, who has an A, let me A. What the Spirit say on to the churches. By the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, the word you sink in your mind, you sink in my mind, my in Jesus' name. And let this heaven, we will not miss it in Jesus' name. Let us rise up to pray. Call upon the name of the Lord. Father, help my weakness. Uphold me, O Lord. And let your grace be sufficient for me. You know, even when I was preaching, including me, 
Holy Spirit is, te is telling me, do you know this area? You too, you need to take care of it. Do not forget what the Bible says. The word of the Lord is a two spade. It faces me, it faces you. It's not going to judge me by what, all what I've said today. It's going to judge me if I be the doer of the word. Call upon the name of the Lord. Your going to the kingdom of God does not make me to the kingdom of God. My going to the kingdom of God does not make you to the kingdom of God. But how is it going to be? At the long run, if you make it there and I do not, you do not see me. How is it going to be if I make it there and I do not see you? That's the reason why you need to call upon the name of the Lord. Father, I put under everything under you. Take me there. Either I want or not, take me there. And let your grace be sufficient for me. If we do it, His grace will be sufficient for us. Call upon Him. Last evening, you can come around. Right, In Jesus' name, we pray. Father, we thank you for your word that we've heard. Father, there is a start, there is a beginning of everything. And you are the beginning and the end. You know our beginning. Father, you knew where you have taken, where you have been bringing us from. But you brought us out of darkness into your marvelous light. Father, I pray that you will establish us in the grace in Jesus' name. Father, every guilt in our lives that the enemy is using against us, that guilt that is not allowing us to flow in the spirit. That guilt that is not, oh God, allowing us to worship you in the way that we ought to. Father, that guilt <coughs> that stands as a hindrance between the heavenly network and we. Father, let it be taken away in the blood of Jesus. Amen. And the power of the blood, oh God, let such gifts be wiped off of our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. That we will serve you, oh Lord, in truth and in the spirit. That we will serve you, oh Lord, with a free heart and a pure and a holy heart. That at the end of time, our work will not be burnt off. Amen. Father, Lord, you said, O oh Lord, that we are saved by grace. And you also said, O oh Lord, in your word, that we should be careful lest we fall off that grace. Father, you one of oh God, that we should be mindful of those things that easily beset us. Father, we lift up ourselves before you. That the grace that saved us, that that grace will keep us. And that grace will keep us in holiness and in righteousness in Jesus' name. <coughs> that your grace, oh God, will teach us. To deny all ungodliness and live soberly and holy till the day that you will come, till the day that you will call us to glory. And the grace, oh God, will help us to live a holy life in Jesus' name. Father, the liberty that you've given us in Christ Jesus. Help us, O oh God, to use it according to your will. 
that to use it according to your purpose. That at the end, O oh Lord, our name will be found written in the book of life. Father, we, the sons and daughters, the church that you've given unto us, Father, we are men for signs and wonders in Jesus' name. We are heavenly bound that none of us, O God, will be found missing. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Let's share the grace. In the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Say to your neighbor, use the grace of God and live a holy life.